Hey everyone, it's Red Tyranno here, back for another episode of Phoenix Rising. And we are going to figure out, after I mumble around here a little bit, um, we're going to find out which starter I'm going to pick. So, there's Petalil, the grass type. There's Growlithe, the fire type. And... There's Star You, the water type. Well, I can't say I'm a big fan of all three of them, but definitely Star You and Growlithe are like the ones that I like to go for usually. And uh, I think I'm gonna go. Well, once I stop doing that, I think I'm gonna go with Growlithe. Yes, I'd like to fire start Growlithe. Start a Pokemon. Yeah, let's give Growl Growlithe a name. So, what do we want to name him? Hmm. I didn't actually think about this part. Um. I guess. I don't know what to call him. I'm really stumped here. Hmm, fire, flare, blitz, amazingness, um, yeah, it's not fun to fumble sometimes, uh, what do I want to call this guy? I'm usually never good at naming my Pokemon names, sometimes I actually go up on the internet and I look them up, and I, like, f like, look at them for a while, um, Put down in the comments what kind of name you would name your starter. And, well, tell me uh, out of the Phoenix Rising starters, Petalil, Growlithe, and Staryu, which one you would pick and what you'd name him. I think I'm going to name him... Uh, um, Oh my god, this is so hard. Well, I think I'm going to be a little weird this way. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. It's really hard to type with a, a key. Uh, that's not how you spell Inferno. Inferno. Did I spell it right? I'm actually going to look it up right now because I'm not feeling it. <sighs> wow. Um, I think that's right. Okay, Inferno the Growlithe. This sounds like a great name. Toggle Pokemon following Pokemon by using control. If you ever wish to put a Pokemon back in its Pokeball, you can use control, I assume. Oh, this is beautiful. Look, I'm getting a little teary-eyed. You're gonna love Trinity University, my alma mater. Especially now that you have a lifelong friend to help you through it. And now we wait for Professor Lotus to get back from her trip. She still has some things to give you, advice or gadgets or something. I don't think I'll let you go exactly without having her seen her first. Life like a lotus. Oh, this is a good lesson. So Tranquilo Town is east of here. You would take Route 1 to get there. It connects Tranquilo to Nocturne. Route 1 is short and Tranquilo Town is really tiny, smaller than Nocturne, so Professor Lotus won't be long. Just wait here. What if I don't want to wait here, though? Hey, are you leaving? I thought... 
You're gonna help me explain the situation to Lotus, right? Thank you for waiting with me. I really appreciate the support. Professor Lotus is so talented, but she's also a little scary, right? Maybe you don't think that since you've known her so for so long. Sorry. You know what? I really respect her, right? I wasn't, like, trash-talking her. I swear. She's an incredible so research scientist, researcher. But her standards are crazy, you know? This is really awkward. Now, now, uh... You can go. No hard feelings. I'll explain to Lotus. I'll see you later, though, and this was really great. Yeah, have fun. So, we finished the quest. Lesson in Destiny. Got any hidden items in there? Two empty. <laughs> Huge pile of candy wrappers in there. Ooh, got a candy addiction, huh? So, the... Phoenix Rising just got an update. Uh, it's, uh, update 1.5. Yeah, 1.5. Um, and it was supposed to fix a lot of issues that people were running into. So hopefully this is good now. I don't remember. Uh, I'm going to check. So we got to go find Professor Lotus. But I think that's it. Yeah. I think we must have talked to mom already and stuff. We already gave the old man his tea bags. Inferno seems to want to play with red. Well, speaking of, let's uh, check him out. Oh, it is him. Nice. I kind of guessed. I didn't actually check before. So it has a timid nature. Up speed, but minus attack. Ouch. I'm pretty sure Growl is supposed to be an attack. Like, oof, that's rough. Flash fire, powers that moves if it's hit by one. Cool, that's kind of a bad um, ability, but I'll take it. And do we have any items? We have, ooh, we have orange berries. Yeah, let's give that to him. So in case something happens. And there's little snow runt tea bags. Or it looks like one to me anyway. Here's our first battle, and it's a Pidgey, of course. And I gotta fix this. Uh, yeah. Looks like this Growlithe that we got, I don't know. We'll find out right now, but yeah, his special attack's way better now. So, and he's going to be a speedy guy, so. That's not what I meant to do. I guess it doesn't fix it right away. Interesting. Umber. And I'm pretty sure there's a speed up button in this game. I've watched other people play through this, so. There's kind of some things that I know. I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. So it goes really fast. <laughs> Pidgey fainted, and we got a whole crap ton of experience. And everyone tries to get it from the side, but I gotta get it from or jump from the top, but I gotta get it from the side. But this is good experience so far. Bam. And so especially through, I don't think I'm going to do training on screen because that's just too much. Um, but I think I will, hold on. I think I will be uh, speeding up some of these battles because they might get too long. So, and I knew, do know some of the Pokemon on the routes, uh, especially in the next town, there's a farm. Spoiler alert. Um, and there's a special Pokemon I want to catch there, so pardon me if I kind of skip over that, but. Because it's a really rare encounter on the route. Another Pidgey. Let's keep. Oh, it did fix it. Nice. I didn't notice that until. 
Probably would have been in the last battle too. But you can't take out a level two Pidgey. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. There we go. It's up here. I love being near to see. The beach here is very small, but Salt Temple City is too far away for me. I hear there they have an amazing beach. Maybe someday. And if you guys notice the text speech, uh, the text bubbles are really fast. Uh, you can go up here and into the settings or options, and you can change your speed to instant. And you can change your difficulty, but I don't actually know. Uh, I think I've seen people do hard, but let's do it anyway. everything else should be good I did see an item down here though and first blade of grass oh, of course center it not a personal favor of mine I don't really this might get a lot of hate on me but I personally do not like gen 2 that much and so, I don't know, it just kind of adds up to, to that. So, yeah. Now I'm going to get a lot of comments about that, but I guess. We're just gonna keep taking these guys on. I might do the speed up button just so it doesn't seem too dumb. Surprised you didn't heal, because you're supposed to I think the berries are supposed to activate after you heal. And I can see there's a little thing back there. There must be something back there. Now you gotta be able to take this Pidgey out once you level up. If you don't, I'll be very sad. Oh, or you can just take it out now. And not evolve. Okay. And there's a Pokeball down there. Little secret inside thing. We're just gonna keep beating up Pidgeys. Why is that berry not working? Did it already use it? Oh, he must have already used it. I'm so dumb. Yeah, use the potion. And this is where I'm supposed to use speed up. Level 7. Cool. Uh, I think I'm going to put another berry. So if I go in here. And I uh, go here. Okay, let's get to another town. Is there an item there? No. And here we are in Tranquilo Town. You're a new trader, huh? I can see it in your eyes. Check out Trad Farm. A visit there. A visit there might be just what you need. I think you can get this item. No, you can't. You have to walk around. And it's a repel. Let's check in here. I'm probably going to have Growlithe out all the time. Do you happen to know Professor Lotus? Yeah, I'll say I do. Really? Well, there's a bit of gossip. I would babysit Professor Lotus when I was a child. Interesting, right? She was... She has... She has loved... Yeah, she has loved Pokemon for as long as I know her. She never slept very well, but she loved to cuddle with my centric. Cute, right? Now she's a professional, but we see each other from time to time. Well, she probably tries to ignore you, because... I know it would be kind of embarrassing if anything like that got out. Okay, let's go check over here. What do you have to say? Don't you just love the country air? It's better than any medicine I've ever taken. There's some items right there. Let's check out what's in here, though. Oh. I guess we have to step on top of the table. Everyone wants to be proud of their family members. My grandson is supposed... 
supposedly a powerful trainer inspiring everyone he meets. As his grandmother, I really, I simply remember him as a sprightly young kid who would help me tend crops and ask most, the most adorable questions. Thank you for listening. Use this on a Pokemon you wish to care for. A love ball. Cool. Getting all those Pokeballs before we even get them. When I get big, I'm going to be a trainer, just like my big brother. My dad uh, trains too, but his, he's, are boring. His are boring. Ouch. I wonder if you're dad. You must be dad over here. My daughter idolizes her older brother all because he's a trainer. She knows that I train Pokemon too, but I suppose farming Pokemon aren't hip. Well, she'll learn that when she grows up that farming's essential to everything, so. That'll teach her. <laughs> That's so rude. Pokeball, is there something down here? <gasps> is there something down here? Talk about that Growlithe. Inferno is sniffing at the floor. Well, it's ground, but okay. Guess that's the first thing we gotta teach him. Well, here's a Pokemon Center, like the lady in the forest said. I get so hot in these overalls, that's why I love the Pokemon Center. It's nice and cool, and they heal up your Pokemon free of charge. Thank you. Seen your PC yet? It contains your Pokemon storage boxes. Those Pokemon storage boxes hold up to 25 Pokemon each for you. I will ne it will never cease to uh, be amazed by the technology's incredible advances. When I was young, we couldn't own more than six Pokemon. We had to release the leftovers. Isn't that terrible? Well, that's kind of rude. Yeah. Let's heal Inferno. Yeah, I want to be healed. Come on. That chancy heal. Sweet. I'll tell you, I saw it. Never in all my travels I've seen such a Pokemon in a farm. Well, you should have looked harder because I've seen one. Hey, kid. This guy here doesn't believe me when I saw that there's a f bona fide fighting Pokemon in a trad farm. You're a trainer, right? If you manage to catch one of them and show my friend here, I'll give you something good. What a waste of time. I guess if you had nothing better to do, prove me wrong. Good luck, kid. Wow, that archaeological looking guy is sure rude. Standard, hmm, a standard but uninteresting assortment. Greetings, I'm an experienced bookshelf critic. Books are pieces of art, don't take them for granted. It's full of paperback novels from Hawthorne Times bestseller list. Wow, I don't care, I don't want to play Pokemon. Oh, I bet there's an item back here, though. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's see what's going on up here. So, how do these crazy stones work? I'm very glad you asked, kind sir. My evolutionary gems work by magic. Magic? I don't believe in magic. It's the magic of evolution, my friend. Give, me, give one of those gems to your Pokemon. Watch it evolve before your very eyes instantly. Your Pokemon will be stronger, faster, with more attacks. Can they evolve any Pokemon, mister? Any and every Pokemon. Oh, the police coming in. I think that's Lotus, too. Citizens of Tranquilo Town. This man is a fraud. His wares are counterfeit. A fraud? But he sold us all this stuff. None of it's real? Now, folks, not... Let's not rush to conclusions. I am but a humble salesman, small business owner, to think that I would rob you sweet, kind people who would take me in, you who invited me into your homes. Why, what manner of monster would reward such graciousness with deceit? Not I, sh uh, certainly. I speak no lies. However, who is this woman, huh? Maybe she is the fraud here. On what authority does she claim that I'm a fake? This here is Professor Lotus. She studied at Trinity University. Wow, a Pokemon professor? She's got she's got to know what she's doing, talking about. Yeah, and where did this guy come from anyway? I thought you knew. You don't? No, I thought you were the one who knew. Who is he? All I know is I w all I know is that he sold us all this junk. This is a junk that you sold us. Yeah, it looks like junk. <laughs> I want my money back. Yeah, we all deserve a refund. Wow, the color just changed. 
A refund? You want me to give you a refund? You're, give you money? Just disappeared. Wow. Where'd he go? He disappeared. There's no trace of him or our money. Hello, Red. I noticed you in the crowd watching. Stunning events, really. Such a simple situation, but a dramatic turn. Now, did you come all this way to search for me out in Tranquilo Town? That's very brave. I apologize the, for the delays I, uh, for the delays experienced here. Excuse me. The conflict at hand escalated in unexpected ways. Although it seems that Tim ha was happy to handle the issue himself. I have to lecture him about protocol for when I see him next. Growlithe, then. A wise choice. The best abilities of the three. I wouldn't agree. Moreover, their evolution is known for their high offensive tactics. And we got, um... Was it timid nature or something? Something that lowers our attack? Red! <laughs> she doesn't sound like a hillbilly. Red, this is Farmer Terrence. He is the owner of Trat Farm. His milk take herd produces most of the Moo Moo milk for the region. Hi there. Sorry we didn't meet under the, these trying circumstances. As you as you witnessed, the people of Tranquil Town have been tricked. Yes, indeed. That man wandered in town about three days ago. We were all planning for the festival, so we didn't. We ain't noticing much going on. But he seemed all right. Kind, courteous, kept to himself. He told us that these here stones that he'd be selling magic stones. Most specifically, stones used towards the purpose of Pokemon evolution. Terence and I have been colleagues for many years with his farm. He is therefore familiar with my work regarding artifacts and mythology. The festival arrived, and our man's magic stones sold well, obviously. Terence was. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Terrence was suspicious of the man's quick turnaround and called me, and he saw the results of the confrontation we had planned. Perhaps if we had not been so cavalier about this. Professor Lotus, you'll find him. I have the utmost faith in you. You're the most talented doctor I've ever met, Professor Lotus. You stopped damn varmint from stealing anyone else's wages. I don't know where you'd be if we hadn't come to the rescue, us. Ooh. Little Lotus action. Red, we need to talk before you depart to Trinita. This is very important, but I need you to find help find the... Wow. Help search for the Swindler. While we search, I recommend training your Pokemon at Trad Farm. Trainers in the farm are... Trainers in the farm are always raring it for a Pokemon battle. It might be good for you, Red. I'll find you as soon as I can. Ooh, there they go. Are they professionals or lovers? Sweet, we got some new quests. Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. Well, until next time, I'll see you in the next one.